Hey guys, what's going on? So for those of you who have absolutely no clue who I am, my name is Brayden and I have a solo project called Say We Can Fly and I make acoustic music. Um, I'm from Canada. The reason I'm making this video is because this week is self-harm awareness week and um, I wanted to, you know, make a video about depression and self-harm and I've made a few in the past but um, I wanted to kind of make a new one and I was in the shower today and I was thinking about how I wanted to kind of, you know, explain it to you guys and explain my take on it and um, I'm going to be talking about Pokemon and Mario so just keep that in mind and if you don't know what Pokemon is or if you don't know what Mario is, please pause this video and Google it because not only do you need to know it for this video, you just need to know it. It's really cool that so many people, um, you know, talk about self-harm and you know are aware of it and uh, actually care about the issue because I think the misconception about self-harm is that it just means cutting to me I think self-harm is anything that any of us do to deal with our pain that you know is actually negative to uh, to who we are into our spirit and um, you know some of us deal deal with our pain by by drinking you know by doing drugs by smoking uh, by cutting ourselves you know by any anything really because I think any of it it's a vice and it's an addiction and um, you know I think it's all, it's all kind of floating in the same boat first of all for anyone who's going through depression in any form um, the first thing I want you to know is that there are so many millions of other people around you know this little earth going through the same thing and so many people that understand you and I'm one of those people because I've been there and I get there sometimes um, you know no, no matter who we are no matter where we come from we all get there so number one I think that's the most important thing to remember is that you are literally never alone and because you feel alone you're not alone because so many other people feel alone so if that makes any sense to you I hope it does but that's that's something that's very important for me to kind of convey to you is that you're never alone and being alone is one of the scariest feelings ever but you are not you're never alone and you never will be okay number two this is where the Pokemon comes in. So, um, just to kind of explain my view on depression and my view on, you know, negative thoughts and what causes us to want to hurt ourselves, I want you to picture yourself as a Pokemon and you can literally pick any Pokemon you want. I'm going to I'm going to be Pikachu just because I think Pikachu is literally the cutest thing in the world. So, just kind of picture yourself as this little Pokemon who is in this little Pokeball and you start off in this little Pokeball and you're safe. Um, I don't really know how they grow Pokemon, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. But let's just say you start off in this Pokeball, and that that's where you become, that's where you're born, and that's where you're first, you know, alive. And you're in this little safe spot that is just you, and you're happy, and you're content, and you just have this these little this little safety net. And then suddenly one day you enter this huge world, this Earth, and there's all these these crazy things going on around you. And then you get let out of your Pokeball, and suddenly you're in this world, and you kind of start, you grow up, and you kind of become more and more aware of yourself, and more and more aware of what's going on around you, and you kind of start perceiving receiving yourself based on what other people will tell you or based on what you think um, other people think of you and you start to kind of think man I'm not good enough like that person's better man I don't like myself I hate myself there's something wrong with me but you have to remember that that came from everything else that made you think those things that came from the outside world and when you were in that little pokeball I guarantee you would have never looked at yourself and said man what's wrong with me you you wouldn't you wouldn't have known to do that because it was just you it's just your soul and it was just you know you were just happy and then suddenly you had all these other people perceiving you and you started basing you know your opinions on what those people think and what the world was telling you and this is where Mario comes in so when I was little I would come home every day lock myself in my room and I would literally play GameCube for hours and hours and one of my favorite games ever was called Super Mario Sunshine so you're so you're Mario in this game and uh, there's this this thing called Shadow Mario which is like it's Mario but it's an evil version of Mario so and it runs around and it tries to hurt Mario. So basically, what I'm saying with that is depression is like this other version of you and it's like this other force of energy that was created by something else but it becomes a part of you and it becomes another side of you. And, but it tries to hurt, you know, the good, pure side of you. So my biggest point with all of this is just to try to kind of look at depression as this, you know, this darkness, this other kind of external energy that you didn't create but it can become a part of you sometimes and the more you the more you focus on it the the worse it becomes so the easiest way for me anyway to kind of you know stop myself from feeling those things is to always always every single day when I wake up tell myself you know three things or just some things that I'm thankful for and you know kind of start my day off like alright I have these these things in my life that I love and that I'm thankful for and that aren't going anywhere and you know and, and when I start feeling sad it's like okay I can kinda of bring those other things into my mind and you know kind of replace the bad thoughts and be like alright you know what things aren't so bad I have some cool things in my life I have some things that make me happy you know in regards to self-harm and cutting um, or really any way that, that people deal with pain that we deal with our pain that you know is harmful to who we are you know our bodies are literally all we have they're, they're the one thing that carry us through life like literally 
um, you know we are we are in these bodies and we don't know why but we are and I, to me it's like it's such a gift to literally be able to experience this reality like no matter what it is I don't I don't understand it but I think it's the coolest thing ever because um, you know the more you start to kind of you know look at it differently and you know see the beautiful things in the world you kind of realize you know what man like this is cool and this is amazing and there are so many things that you can do and so many things you can be and so many things to work towards and so many goals to set in society and other people you know cause feelings that make us want to hurt our physical bodies you can never take it out on yourself because the moment you do that you know you're giving into it and you're saying you know what you win depression you know you win and I think that's the moment that you know you get lost and that people end up really giving up and it makes me sad. I know people who have who have committed suicide and I know people whose friends have committed suicide and it's literally like the most terrible thing because it's like you know what they were going through this pain and pain is always temporary but at the moment they didn't see that so they decided to end their lives instead of you know powering through and being able to t maybe you know down the road someday tell someone else you know what I went through that like it's gonna be okay and that's why I think it's so important too is because other people need you and other people need to know that you understand so every time you go through pain just remember someday you're gonna be able to look back and you know maybe help somebody and tell them you know I went through that same thing and it's gonna be fine that's kind of my like little spiel about depression and self-harm and you know I have music written about it I wrote a lot of you know a lot of my songs have come from you know times of my life when I felt terribly depressed and you know just been in pain and it's easiest for me to write about those times because it helps me understand them. And uh, it's really cool to know when you guys can connect with that because it's like, gives me the feeling of, you know what, I'm not alone, you guys get it. So if you guys do want to check out my music, just check out uh, facebook.com slash saywecanfly or youtube.com slash saywecanfly or pretty much any version of any kind of social media. Just type in saywecanfly and you should find something. I just want you guys to know that I get it. We all get it. Um, we all go through it, so the next time you start feeling those things, just please sit down and, you know, think about some things that you're thankful for that make you happy, and, uh, you know, watch Netflix, eat some pizza, you know, look up pictures of cats, or if you have a cat, you should probably cuddle it, because that always makes me happy, so... Anyway guys, I love you so much and I appreciate that you watched this video. I have a new album coming out on January 22nd. Maybe it'll help you, I don't know. But uh, you guys are amazing and I love you. And uh, please try to stay happy. 